outside today. Truly a beautiful day. We just love this, uh, this springtime weather. That's what it feels like. It's starting yeah. to look like it too. If yeah, you sure drive sure around has. and look carefully, you can see green leaves yeah. and yeah. buds on trees all over the place. We're about uh, 10 to 14 days early on that because of all the rainy, mild weather. And in spite of the fact that we've had some cold days now and then, it just hasn't been consistently cold enough to keep those trees and plants dormant. So here we are. Grass is getting green and it's not too long before baseball will start being played out at Regions Field. Cloudy sky right now. We've got 67 in Birmingham with a south southwest wind at 16. It's been a bit of a breezy day around Jefferson County, Shelby County, where we've seen occasional gusts well over 20 miles per hour. We've got 64 in Vestavia, 65 at Pelham, 66 at Chelsea and Trussville. Pinson is up to 70 and Summerton is at 67. A lot of 60s from Birmingham North, and I think the map is going to look a lot like this tomorrow because of the number of showers that we start seeing. They're going to build to the north later on tonight, work to the south, and then come back north during the day tomorrow. Here's WVTM 13 live Doppler right now here at 419 PM. There's no rain showing up, but again, sometime around 6 to 7 PM, I expect showers to develop near US 278 and those will slowly drift south into the Birmingham area. You can already see some of that shower action up here across North Georgia. It'll start building southwest as a weak cool front begins to move in through the area tonight. So let's talk rain chances tomorrow. Medium chance of some showers. They're going to be around, but they're not exactly what I would call high impact rain Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. I can't say there will be no rain because I do think a few isolated showers develop here and there, but the impact is overall pretty low for the end of this week. So what about early tomorrow morning? Bus stop weather, driving into work and school, isolated showers, St. Clair, Jefferson, Blunt, Walker, Cullman County, maybe even one or two in Shelby County. And then as we start to add a little heat, temperatures warm up, isolated showers become a bit more widespread through mid morning and early afternoon. That'll cap off temperatures close to 70 tomorrow. This is getting to that time of year where we can still have clouds and showers and see temperatures really bump upward. So tomorrow morning we start out in the 60s with occasional rain getting to 71 tomorrow afternoon. Still may hang on to a few showers throughout the day Tuesday. I think most of us are right around say 68 to 72 for a daytime high. This is the zone where I think rain is most likely Tuscaloosa, Jefferson, Shelby, St. Clair, Calhoun, Etowah County, northward toward Coleman, Arley, Hamilton, and then again, a very warm kind of day. It looks breezy on Wednesday, the high around 80. Occasional wind gusts here are going to get over 35 miles per hour through Wednesday afternoon. And then it's even warmer going into Thursday. So both Wednesday and Thursday were close to record highs. It's considerably cooler Friday and then mild with a few showers going into the weekend.